Happy Beyblade Day, everybody! <laughs> and, uh, oh boy, this is, we got a lot to talk about. But I'm not gonna ramble for long, so we're just gonna skim through what was revealed from both Takara Tomi and Hasbro. I'm gonna say we're eating good today. <laughs> So, let's actually begin. So, we actually got to reveal... This was actually Shadow Drop. Trigger S, the X-Over remake, crossover remake. And it looks... I like it. I actually already pre-ordered two, because I like Trigger. Uh, it, nothing much else to say. The, unfortunately, what most people say, unfortunately, that it looks similar to Dronzer S. And it's not... Dronzer S is not very competitive. Wise, but it does perform well. But who knows? I think the only concern is is the weight. If it, if it weighs heavier than drum dress, then we're fine. Then we have the box packaging. Yeah, this is actually interesting. They changed up the the art of Ray in the original box. It was a the anime art, but well, manga art. But they swapped for a full body anime art. Uh, trigger ass box. Box for it is up before the animes, and then Takara Tomoe has never changed it, so that's a cool detail. So, next, uh, we finally actually also got the reveal for Storm Pegasus. It looks fine, it looks looks pretty good. I'm, I'm not a big, uh, I'm not, I'm not a, a metal fight person, per se. It looks fine, it looks translated well to the X system. But I'm gonna say, Takira told me cooked with with Victory Valkyrie. It looks really good. I actually like how they did it. I was actually shocked how how they handled Victory Valkyrie. I it was actually one of my most concerns because of how the burst babies were designed and how well they translate to X. But they did. They actually did a good job of it. You can see the Forge disc is implemented. You can see part of the uh, the energy layer of the original is made of the metal. You can definitely see based on the some of the cuts here. If you look carefully, it's definitely painted to make it fit in. So I can also say this is a really they cook. They cook. Takara told me cooked with with uh, Victory Valkyrie. It is a. It looks really good. To say it. I'm excited for Victory Valkyrie. And uh, let's get going forward. Um, so next we have the Beyblade XR app. And I was going to say I got crazy. I went crazy when this reveal happened. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> I, what else was I going to say? It's like it's a, I really like the idea. There's a bro augmented reality Bay battle. And right now, the basically an early version of it, which you can only use Drawhunter S and Dragoon S, uh, is available on the Apple Store. On the J Japan server, remember this reveal is on the Takara Tomi, who their market is mainly for Japan. Japan. So, and also I can say, but this is really cool. I actually. Watch the Zuma try this out on his stream yesterday or early this morning. Let's say it was nice. It was it was fun. I actually wanted to give it a shot. It just means I had to change the region. It was a, it was a hassle for me back when I was trying to download the X app. <laughs> I got it, but I guess we're not go for this. <laughs> so next time we'll move to the next. Move over to the Hasbro side of things. Because I am very shocked to say that they did it. <laughs> they actually did it. They, they like look, look at that. If I revealed it and it looks on par with the kid of Terror Tomy. It literally has a lot of the design of the the box packaging of Takara Tomy. Actually, I'm so surprised by this. It, it's not like they didn't use, reuse the box fold Takara Tomy's, let alone, it's basically the same box. It's 
if you know the melee, the, the Karatoi Melee X box packaging is practically the same box mold as Hasbro's Quad Drive Quad Strike packaging. But no, uh, Hasbro changed it up. And I, it, it's I mean, cool here. It's still on brand with Takara Tomies, and that's cool. So we have here is Dren Sword. It's a starter. Oh, I should know that um, they're, these are the launchers here are the pro launchers used in. <coughs> I failed a moment. <coughs> Uh, the same one from the entry set that Territory released, which sucks, but there is something to mention later on. <coughs> so, Sword Drans, Dread Sword, is this is his. I love how they, they didn't change up the name of the parts. They're just as is as uh, Takara This is 360 flat. Next is uh, Side. Incendio, which is you know, Hell Scythe, but they had to change the name, obviously, so I'm not bothered by it. So the size is still technically there, but they had to change it to basically Fire. It's 460 Taper. That's good. <coughs> yeah. Alright, and next is Wizard Arrow, or Arrow Wizard. It looks nice. It also has the same parts as the original, as the original Takara Tomi. 480 ball, and then we have Hell Knight, Knight Shield, the 380 Needle. I love the fact they're actually carrying over the naming conventions of the parts. In fact, even the parts themselves, they're still named as Blade, Ratchet, and Bit. I love that they kept it. The only thing is that they changed the name of the base, so I got, I can't say much about that. And then most of them are almost kept the same, roughly, split around, I don't know, some of them just doesn't make sense in some ways, but I got not much else to complain about. So, we have here is Sword Phoenix, and, <laughs> and this is definitely going to be a highlight. Because this is practically the exact set that the character told me released with uh, Phoenix Wing. This literally is Phoenix Wing. Dude. It's just now named Sword Phoenix, which is not a bad name. The, the parts are the exact same. 960 gear flat. And it has the exact same. It's literally the same string launcher. That's crazy. This is definitely the most... Uh, one to one set to Takara Tomi. And this is definitely going to catch a lot of people's attention, so yeah. And it actually makes me wonder uh, will we get uh, Kobo Drake in this set as well? With the blue string launcher? I do wonder. That's one of the launchers in some regards. We also have the solo pack, the winder launcher. And it's interesting, huh? It's well unfortunate that the starter sets do not include the string launcher. No, no, the winder launcher. Instead, of they chose the entry set, the, ent the entry launcher instead. It's unfortunate, but, well, on the plus side, we'll at least have an option. At least people can actually get the winder launcher. And I'm actually surprised they're sticking with winder. Instead of like changing the name to Ripper, <laughs> Ripcord, but yeah, it's fine. And the fact that we're actually getting this is really cool. And the interesting thing I should know is that the Kerto, like, if you remember the teaser to Kerto being released last year, Hasbro has actually released it on their channel. The Beyblade official channel has been rebranded and it's now, and it shows the exact. Same video, but it was just a little change with the let rip instead of go shoot text. And they have the battle pass. Are we getting the battle pass? I'm very curious. We get the app, so that's a very I'm very much wondering. It's kind of crazy to think we might actually get more going. God, this is the surprising part to me is that we finally get to see the stadium set. 
the Extreme Battle set, and wow, I'm surprised to say that the character of Hasbro they worked something out because this stadium actually looks one to almost one to one to the character of which is not something that Hasbro's been able to pull off in the past, even back with the plastic gem where they actually try to keep the three pockets like Teratomi. So this is crazy. So we actually was gonna So we have a better look. The only downside of this set, I would say personally, is that they chose the entry launchers. It's weird that they do that because it makes it seems like it makes more sense that they put in the winders. That's the only downside. That sucks. But other than that, the stadium, it looks... I mean, it looks good. I mean, if judging by the stadium set, the stadium I have right now, yeah, I mean, it looks... I mean, it's just slim... It's like a slimmer down. That's, if I were to say Stream Dash will be pulled out a lot more easier with this stadium. But yeah, it's it's slightly smaller, but other than that, this stadium is practically one to almost one to one, and uh, that's not something you normally say see with uh, with Hasbro. That's actually really cool in my book that they, that this is the case. So it's not just that we also get our very first look at our. Hasbro exclusive Beyblade, and it's Tusk Mammoth or Mammoth Tusk. It's actually funny because it can it work, and the Karatobi name would probably be Mammoth Tusk, and that just it just sounds fitting. I would rather call it Mammoth Tusk, but it looks sick. It looks really looks really good for Hasbro exclusive. This just is a really good looking Beyblade. And dare I say, there is reason to get Hasbro Bays. It's not just the fact that they're exclusive, but they actually look good. It looks like something that Takara told me would design. And, and also, the parts are good, too. It, I think in most Takara told me, Hasbro, I mean, uh, are just designing the blade only. And that's fine. Because we've got some good parts going on here. As far as I remember reading, it's... Uh, let me just go back. Yeah, right there. Mammoth, Task Mammoth is a 360 taper. The balance type. I love it. I love this. <laughs> this is a really good-looking Beyblade. It's a great start for a Hasbro exclusive. And it makes me excited more to see the crossover Beyblades. And I mean, the ones that are for, like, cross-promotion, like, Marvel and Star Wars. I want to see Iron Man now. I really want to see Iron Man. I, I mean, I was, I was interested before, but this makes me excited. I'm very excited. Now, the only concerning thing at the end of the day is, will the plastic quality, is it the material quality... Going to be on parts to Karatomi, and that's the biggest concern. But honestly, with the co branding with this big already handling, and my experience with Transformers co branding, I say we might be in good hands, but we'll have to see once they release. So, yeah, <laughs> oh man, this is crazy to say. So, I hope you like this video. And what do you think? Are you excited as I am for both sides from Takara Tomi and Hasbro? This is great. I love it. So until next time, bye-bye.